Hello, Juan. How are you today? Hello. I'm fine. Okay, pretty good. Nice to, well, nice to listen to you one more time in our class. How was your day? Uh, it was a busy day. Oh, really? Did you work? A lot. <laughs> I'm really sorry because of it. But what time do you start working? Um, um, I have to start at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. every day. But oh. uh, uh, I always start uh, more early. Okay. And what time do you, well, do you leave your work? Excuse me? What time do you leave? What time do you finish? Ah, oh, I have to finish at 5 p.m. But uh, I never do that. <laughs> I work, I work uh, some hours more. Ah, For okay. example, uh, today I leave at 8 p.m. Oh, wow. You work, okay, more time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, but that's uh, I I mind that's something good. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> well, I, I'm sorry. What do you do? What do you do in your in your job? Or what is your what is, what do you do, Juan Pablo? Hello, Juan Pablo. Okay. Hi, Omar. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Um, I'm great. I'm great. I, I don't feel better, but I'm not bad. So I feel happy because I'm here one day more. Okay. So congratulations. I really appreciate that you are here. You and Juan Pablo. Okay. So that's something really nice. Hey, Omar, how was your day? Was it busy? Yes, uh, uh, it was very busy in my job, and tomorrow I have an interview in in the same in the same place. So for another another position. So I I hope I will good. Well, that's pretty nice. I, I really well. I I congratulate you because you are. <laughs> Uh, you are, I, can, I can say that you are growing up in that company and that you will have, well, you will have tomorrow another opportunity to show that you can do even more than the things that they, that they know about you. Okay, Juan lost his internet connection. Well, uh, Omar, uh, we're going to start because it's time. Uh, we have, well, it's uh, eight past nine. So we are going to start with our activities for today. Tell me, are you ready? Yes? Yes, teacher, let's do it. Very good, okay. Today, uh, well, I will show you today our topic because it will be really, really important to understand all of our activities for today. To start, uh, well, I wanna show you our title. Uh, give me a second, it's loading. What happened? I don't know what happened with the presentation. Okay, so I can't show you. I can't show you a presentation. Oh. Let me see. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see my screen? Yes, now, now yes, I can. Okay, so well, today's topic or today's class, it's about necessity, obligation, and suggestion, okay? You know that sometimes to talk about this kind of things, we need to use some spatial model verbs. We are going to learn, and some others, we are going just to review model verbs to 
uh, to, uh, to speak about these little things. Just before we start, I want to show you our next activity. For today, we have a question. Well, uh, I don't know what's happening. Uh, my computer, it's kind of, uh, give me a second. It is kind of slow okay. today. Okay, sure, teacher. Okay, I guess we will uh, we will work like this by now, and then I will try to put it in big, okay? So, in this opportunity, I want to ask you the following, um, Omar. What do you need to survive in an island, okay? Think about some items that you will need to survive in an island. So, what do you think are some important things? To survive okay you have right now 10 seconds 10 seconds to think about items or objects that do you that you need to survive in an island okay think about that okay take 10 seconds okay teacher Okay, let's see. I will share my screen in a moment, but tell me please, Omar, what do you need to survive in an island? Okay, teacher. For first example, I, I think I need a knife, fire, and water. This is okay. these three these three things, it's very important to survive in an island. Okay, so a knife, water, and fire, and no yes. more. Okay, those are great. Those are great items to have in an island. But tell me, why do you need fire? Because I need cooking. Okay. And I, and for example, I, I try and. Or I try take the the rain to to have potable water, and I need boil the the rain. Or yes, I I think maybe. Okay, well that that is really really important. So now with the rain you will have water. And then, well, you will you will use the fire to boil the water and to have potable water. Okay, that's pretty good. And what about the knife? What is the knife for? What is the knife for? Okay, the knife. Let me see. I I, I can use to cut the fish or coconuts. Okay. And and i think the, the, this is the the most important for the the knife use could could the the food and and another things okay so very good that's something really important at the moment of uh, trying to survive in an in an island so thank you mark thank you for sharing uh, juan pablo hello can you hear me Yes, I can hear you. Pretty good. Okay, so your internet, <laughs> your internet is back. So pretty good. Well, um, today, Juan Pablo, as you as you can listen, we are talking about um, what do you need to survive in an island. So, uh, can you tell me about it? What do you need to survive in an island? I think the same as as Omar, as Omar said, and uh, uh, I will need a knife. Because we need to 
um, to cut something, for example, uh, he said coconut, and uh, maybe maybe you can find a, an animal walking on the island. You can you can kill, and uh, you can cook. <laughs> okay. It. Okay. Yes, yeah, and, that's uh, that's pretty good. Okay, I really yeah. like your ideas, guys. So you're very creative. Okay, but okay, uh, we have as I mentioned, you have great ideas. Uh, you already think how to do the things, and what are you going to? What will be the use of these items? Okay, as you mentioned, well, water, as we know, it's really important. Also, well, the fire in some cases, as Omar mentioned, if it rains, maybe you can have uh, some fire to uh, to 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 feel warm or to keep warm at, at that moment. And of course, the knife will be really important uh, to take some uh, some fruits or to collect some fruits uh, or different things that you can find in an island. And as Juan Pablo mentioned, very important, okay, um, to hunt an animal, okay, to kill an animal and then to cook, to cook it, okay, very good. Well, guys, as you see, you mentioned really important items. Any of you mentioned internet, any of you mentioned, I don't know, a cell phone, any of you mentioned any anything different but something that it's really important so as you know well this is a, a this is not a real situation of course or, or or at least it's not a real situation for any of us but as you can see when we are in this kind of situations we need to think about only we, we need to take to think only about necessary things and that's what we are going to do today guys we will talk about those kind of things so today everybody we are going to move and continue with our class it's time to check guys what is our grammar for today as i mentioned at the beginning we need to use modal verbs but just before we start everybody let's read what are the modal verbs or what is the use of modal verbs? Please, Omar, read the information. Okay, teacher, if you if you hear my, my dog barks, sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, modal. Modal verbs are a special kind of helping verb. They help to main verb to express the mood of the subject. Okay, that's it. Very good, Omar. Well, as you remember, guys, modal verbs are helping verbs. That's the important thing. They are helping verbs. They help the main verb, the main action of the sentence, to express the mood of the subject or the mood of the person or the people, if it is a group, okay? Okay. In this opportunity, guys, we are going to start, uh, or we are going to learn, everybody, necessity or obligation modal verbs and the suggestion modal verbs. So please, Juan Pablo, help me reading the examples of necessity. Necessity, do I have to read the... The text, or do you need an example of? Oh, only the text. Using, okay. Necessity. Need to. Must. Have to. Not have to. Amazing. Thank you, Juan Pablo. Now, Omar, help me with the suggestion. Okay, teacher. Suggestion. Should. Shouldn't. Uh, to. And had better. Very good. Okay, you did it really good. Um, remember the pronunciation of this, everybody. How to, how to, how to, or with more fluency, out of, out of, out of. Okay, listen to it, everybody. Okay, as you remember, today we are going to learn if you already know them. So we are going to have a review of necessity and suggestion 
modal verbs. And remember, this is really important. They are always followed by the simple form of a verb, or they are always followed by the base, oops, the base form of a verb, okay? So after any of this, uh, after of any of this modal verbs, we have to use this the base form of the verb, not ing, not letter s, not a past participle. We have to use the base form of the verb. So, guys, let's start paying attention to the necessity uh, model verbs. The first one, everybody, and the most common to talk about necessity, it's need. To, okay, as you can see, everybody, we are using need to, and after that, the verb in base form, as I mentioned. Okay, let's pay attention to the following example. Uh, okay, I will read it, guys, and pay attention to it. You need to get the COVID vaccine to travel to a foreign country. You need to get the COVID vaccine to travel to a foreign country. If you want to go to any other country, guys, apart from El Salvador, so if you want to go to any other country, you need the COVID vaccine. What happens if you don't have it, everybody? If you don't have the COVID vaccine, so you cannot, you cannot go out or you cannot leave the country, okay? In that case, guys, this is a necessity. This is an obligation that you have, okay? So, oh, Juan Pablo, do you like traveling? Um, yes, I like to travel. Oh, really? That's pretty good. What was the last place you traveled to? Japan. Japan, wow, that's really nice. Because of work yeah. or tourism? Uh, because of work, for training. Ah, okay, but well, it, it was also a great experience in Japan. Well, I have a question for you, Juan Pablo. Tell me, from the pictures, what do you need to go to Japan? I need a, a visa, a passport. Ah, ah very and, good. Um, yes, and uh, on these times, nowadays, I will need a COVID vaccine. Okay, very good. Well, thank you for sharing, Juan Pablo. As and you money. can see, and money, of course, cash is really necessary. <laughs> so very good, Juan Pablo. As you see, the pictures are about necessities, things that we really need to have, obligation, guys. Because, well, if you don't have your visa, so you cannot go to certain countries. If you don't have the passport, the same. And of course, everybody, if you don't have money, you cannot even go to, I don't know, you cannot even go to a, another city in El Salvador. So those are really important things. It's mandatory you have them to do some activities. What about you, Omar? Do you like traveling? Yes, teacher. So because for my work, uh, I, I can't, and I don't have more, I don't have some time so much. Oh, you don't have free time. But, yes. So I I remember I traveled to Guatemala. Let mm -hmm. me see. Four or five years ago. Yes. Oh, well, that was a great experience. By that moment. I think you didn't you didn't need the COVID vaccine, right? Yes, only only money and 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 the uh, ID. It's only ah, only yeah, two things. That's, that's true. Well, to go to what? Well, if you wanna go to Guatemala, you only need the the ID card or the passport. So both are yes. are good options. So pretty good. You not only need money. Okay, you only need money and the passport or the ID card that I didn't write it over here, but I will write it in words, ID, ID card, I'm sorry.
I'm sorry, guys. My dog was barking. Well, as you see, guys, neat, of course, is the base or is the, the simple thing to talk about necessity. Is the simple verb that we can use to talk about necessity or in some cases about obligation. As I mentioned, guys, some of the things are really important. Some of these items are really important. Uh, well, in this case, as Juan Pablo and Omar mentioned, because of work or because uh going to another because you are going to a, you were going to another country. But well, there there are also guys some other examples that we can use because of work. What do you need to work in the place you are? Uh, what do you need to buy a house? So we can use need to everybody to talk about necessity and obligation. But this is mainly to talk about necessity. Now, guys, we can see the next, well, the next structure. And it's about must, must. Please, Omar, help me reading all the information about must. Okay, teacher. Must plus verb in base form. Strong and formal obligations or necessity possibly based on the speaker's opinion. You must take your medicine before hanging, hanging out with friends. And another example, they must come to visit, to visit me when they're in town. Thank you. As you see, this is a very specific detail about must. Must is strong, okay? So it's something that is not an option, guys. It's not optional if you want to do it or not. This is almost, almost, everybody, this is almost mandatory to do it, okay? Because it's an obligation or it's a necessity. But pay attention to it, it's formal. Must, everybody, is very common that we use it to uh, for writing and of course everybody in affirmative sentences or negative sentences must in questions is not common guys so don't use it okay but as you can see in the examples the obligation of the, of these things it's based on the speaker's opinion is based on the opinion of someone else is based on your own opinion, not because something wrong will happen to the world or you will not be able to do something, but it's because of the opinion that maybe you have or some people have. Pay attention to our first example. You must take your medicine. You must take your medicine. Guys, if I don't take my medicine, I will not affect anybody. I will only affect myself, okay? So this obligation I had, I have, I'm sorry, it's based on the opinion of another person or my opinion. It's not because I will affect someone else, it's because of me, and that's it. Then check the other example, guys. They must come to visit me when they are in town, they must come. Is it an obligation? Yes. Will I affect someone? What do you think, Omar and Juan Pablo? Will I affect someone if I don't go to visit her? I think, I, I no. No, right? Will something bad no. happen? Will something bad happen if I don't go? Well, we don't know, but uh, the truth is that we must. Okay. We must visit. Uh -huh. Very <laughs> For <good>. some reason. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we, don't, we are not sure about what, what is going to happen, but we must go, okay? Because it's an obligation. Even though, um, well, we don't have a consequence or there is no specific consequence that will happen if I don't go, but I must, 
okay? It's an obligation I have. As I mentioned, it is formal, okay? It is formal, so we can use it. Uh, we can use it anytime that we speak and we want to show an obligation to, to some people, right? Then we have another, uh, we have another, uh, another modal verb, which is common, guys. This is something really nice because it's uh, it's not formal. It's common for everybody. And as you can see here, oh, give me a second. It's it sure. used for strong external obligations, okay? Same as must is strong, but this is based on external obligations, not because the opinion of another person, not because of my opinion, but because external obligations. So everybody think the same, that think that this is an obligation, that this is something mandatory. Not only one person, not only a small group, all people think the same. Okay, before we continue, Omar, do you have any question? Yes, so I can use, for example, uh, I don't know if it is very common, but I think I can use you should or you could. Uh, or it's not, not, it's not is not to refer to this topic it's similar it's only similar but it's not the same we will see it in a few moments in a well in a few minutes i'm sorry uh, but pay attention to it when you use should i will explain really fast and then we continue so when we use should uh, this is a suggestion remember that the class uh, today's class it's about necessity obligation and suggestions so we okay. will take that in a moment but I will explain to you this very, uh, very uh, fast. Uh, as I mentioned, should is for suggestions. What does it mean? That if you say, you should visit me. So it's not mandatory, it's optional. If you want to do it, so do it. But if you don't want to do it, so don't, you don't, okay? But when you use must, that means that because of some, uh, some people's opinion or a person's opinion, you must go. You must do the, the following. Okay? So, must... Okay, teacher, is, I got it. Must is not optional. Should? Yes. Okay? So, in that case, you know, you can use both or even you can use have to, as you can see in this part, have to is strong. It's also... It's not a, a suggestion. It's something that you have to do. It's something mandatory. Okay? Pay attention to Juan Pablo. Okay, Juan Pablo, help me reading the three examples that we have. Okay. I have to wear a security belt when I travel by car. She has to wear a face mask at school. We don't have to scream in a museum. Well, excellent pronunciation, Juan. You are doing great. As you can see, we have three situations, three actions in the sentences. The first one, I have to wear a security belt when I travel by car. I have a question for you, Juan Pablo. Do you think that is correct to use a security belt or not? It is correct. Okay. Only you think so, or all people think the same? Not all the people think the same. <laughs> <laughs> but most of the people have to, okay, have to do it. According with the laws, we have to wear a security belt. If you don't wear a security belt, well, first of all, if you have an accident, so you know you will be really affected by the accident. Number two, guys. If you don't wear a security belt, so you will have to pay, okay? So you will, have, you will have to pay to police officers. Well, not to police officers, but to BMT uh, or Vice Ministerio de Transporte in El Salvador. So it's better, you, ha you had better wear your security belt, okay? Even though you don't think this or you don't 
agree with this, but try to do it, okay? Then, everybody, check the second example. He has to wear a face mask at school. Well, nowadays, not all people is wearing a face mask, but this is something that uh, was mandatory in a certain time, okay? Was something mandatory. So if you don't wear a face mask, you cannot enter to this place. Some time ago, people say that. Nowadays, it's a little bit more flexible. So if you don't wear a face mask, there is no problem in some cases. But in some other cases, for example, if you go to a hospital, you have to wear a face mask. If you go to a clinic, you have to wear a face mask, okay? If you are in touch with kids, for example, if you work with kids, or if you work in a school, so you have to wear a face mask. Why? Because kids are, uh, uh, they are they, they, they are weak uh, talking about illnesses, okay? So they, they are not well uh, developed or they, their immune, immune system is not well developed. So in that case, you have to wear a face mask, okay? Then we have, uh, an obligation, but this is an obligation in negative form. We don't have to scream in a museum, okay? So that's not correct. So it's mandatory for you to keep silence in the museum. You can speak, but you have to speak quietly. Not for example, not the same if you, it's not the same if you are, for example, in a stadium. In the stadium, you can scream as much as you want, but not in a, in a museum, right? So as you see, this is an obligation. More than a necessity, it's an obligation, okay? So we can use have to, as I mentioned, this is more common. Pay attention to it, guys. In all of these examples, we are using simple present, but it's also possible to use structures of simple past. Instead of have to, we use had to. Or in negative, didn't have to. Okay, well done. This is everybody talking about this. Let's check what is our, uh, our next part, okay? Everybody, it's time to talk about suggestions. As you know, well, as I mentioned, suggestions are optional things that you can do, okay? If I say you have to do your homework, you must do your homework, that is something that it's mandatory to do, okay? There is no option. Or you do your homework or you do your homework, okay? So that's that's an obligation that we have. But now everybody, imagine I say, hey guys, you should do your homework. So that is optional. So not teacher, I will not do it. Okay, I don't want to do homework. I don't have time to do my homework. But because I am using should. So if I am, if I use should, everybody remember, it's a suggestion, it's advice. So I decide if I take it or not. Okay, pay attention to our two examples, should and shouldn't. Tell me, Omar, should, and Juan Pablo, tell me the example using shouldn't. Okay, Omar, you can start. Okay, teacher. Suggestion, should plus verb in base form. In the example? Yeah, sorry, teacher. My dog is barking in, ah, in this worry. moment. You should take a photography course. Very good. This is, remember, suggestion. You should take a photography course. It depends on you guys if you want to take it or not. Okay? Juan Pablo, let's continue with the second example. Shouldn't. Second example is you shouldn't spend the money on unnecessary items. Thank you. Okay? That's a that's that's great advice. <laughs> so everybody, you shouldn't spend money on unnecessary items. Okay, mm -hmm. there are many things that we don't need but we buy. Okay, 
I don't know why it happened. It, but guys, pay attention to this. I use shouldn't. Ah, so that is not mandatory. I will not get angry if you buy something that is not that, that is not a need. I will not get angry. You have two options, okay? I will save money and I will not buy anything unnecessary or you can continue or you can buy if you have never done it. <laughs> so you can uh, you can start buying unnecessary things, okay? So should and shouldn't guys remember it's optional. It's for suggestions, not mandatory things, only for optional things. Well, guys, this is the common structure, okay? Should and shouldn't is the common structure that we use to talk about suggestions. Oh, guys, I am sick. Okay, you should go to the doctor. Oh, guys, I lost my cell phone. You should change your passwords, okay? So should everybody... It's the common expression or the common model verb that we are going to use to talk about suggestions. But now, everybody, pay attention to the next structures. First of all, guys, we have out of. Out of, okay? Out to, um, it's not very common, okay? Because of fluency. We prefer using out of. Out of. You ought to stay at home, okay? Pay attention to these examples, please. Okay, same, same activity, okay? Juan Pablo, you read the first example about the ID card. Omar, you read the example about staying at home, okay? Okay. You ought to take your ID card with you anywhere. Uh -huh. uh, I have a question. What, yes. is, what is the meaning? What is the meaning of ought to? Okay. Great question. I have Aura. the same question. <laughs> okay. So great question from both. Um, guys, Aura, it's the same as should. What is the only thing? That in English, guys, Aura, it's formal. That's the only difference, guys. Okay? That when using Aura, we are trying to be kind of formal. Okay? And Aura is not common to be used in questions because... Uh, and in, in negative form, only in affirmative, right? Okay, so in this case, guys, aura, it's a formal way to ask for something or to suggest something. Should is the same, but it's common, okay? All people use it. Aura, it's more formal, okay? Omar and Juan Pablo? Very good. Okay, teacher, I got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, as you see this example, you want to take your ID card with you anywhere. So guys, you always have to, well, you always have to bring with, you always have to bring with you your ID card, okay? Because it's necessary if you go to the bank, if, uh, because of the soldiers, so anything, guys. Because of any situation, you ought to have your ID card with you. Well, let's check the second example. Omar, help me with this. Yes. You auto auto stay at home to feel better. Nice, yeah. If you are sick, everybody, this is a suggestion. Maybe, guys, uh, your boss suggestion. Maybe a good friend's suggestion. You ought to stay at home to feel better. Look at the picture. He is sick. The man in the picture is sick. You ought to stay at home to feel better, boy. Okay? So as you see, it's the same context, it's the same situation. We are making suggestions to people or people is making suggestions to us, okay? Should and other guys, they have the same meaning. But now guys, pay attention to our last structure, okay? This is the last structure for making suggestions, guys, but pay attention to it. This one, more than a suggestion, it's a warning, okay? War, oops, okay, war, what happened to my computer? Okay, so warning, okay? This one, more than a suggestion, it's a warning. Why? Because if you do the opposite of what people say, 
something bad can happen. Okay, pay attention to our examples. Omar, can you help me reading the first example? Sure, teacher. He had better take instruction into account. Very good. Well, guys, remember, this is a suggestion. Is this a suggestion? Maybe. But more than a suggestion, it's a warning. He had better take instructions into account. What happened if I don't? What happened if he doesn't? take instructions into account. If he doesn't care about instructions, ah, maybe depending on the context, everybody, maybe he will he will be fired from his job. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe he will get lost in, a, in, in one place or in a city. Maybe he will, I don't know, but many things, many bad things can happen if he, doesn't follow instructions. If he doesn't care about instructions, okay? So he had better take instructions into account. Now, everybody, pay attention to our second example. Juan Pablo, can you help me read in the second sentence? Sure. Uh, how's the pronunciation? Youth? Yes, Youth? that's right. Yes, Youth. yes. Okay. Youth better, youth better avoid street food. Aha, okay. This is a suggestion, guys. But guys, street food is really delicious. I'm sorry for the parenthesis, guys, but it's delicious, okay? In some places. But look at this warning. Look at this suggestion. You'd better avoid street food. Why? Oh, maybe you may have a consequence if you buy. If you buy street food over there, oh guy, oh, oh boy! If you buy street food in this, uh, in this area, tomorrow you will have a stomachache, or tonight you will have a stomachache. Okay, boy, you you'd better avoid street food. If you buy street food over here, uh, I don't know. Maybe you will not enjoy this food because it's not delicious. Okay, we use everybody. Had better or in a more common structure, you'd better, you'd, you'd better to make suggestions and warnings. Okay. If we want to prevent something or we want to prevent someone to do some, something, we use you'd better. Remember, should and aura are used to make suggestions and for optional things. So people decide if they do it or not. This is the same situation, guys. The only difference or the main difference that we have everybody is that if you don't, if you don't follow this, if you don't follow this suggestion or you don't take into account this warning, so you may have a consequence, okay? There is a possibility that you may have a consequence, okay? So guys, this is another structure that you can use to make suggestions or warnings, okay? Guys, this is all the vocabulary that we have for today. That's This is a lot, everybody, I guess, okay? Remember that we are talking about necessity, obligations, and suggestion. But now, pay attention to it. One detail or one important information I share with you at the beginning of the grammar is that we use, give me a second, everybody. I will go over here. Okay. We use, everybody, the simple form of a verb with all of these models. So remember, guys, if we use need to, if we use must, if we use have to or not have to, didn't have to or don't have to or doesn't have to, we use a verb in base form. No letter S, no ING, no past participle, no past, no anything, guys. We only use the simple form of a verb after this model verbs. Then, guys, if we use should or shouldn't, if we use aura 
or if we use had better, same. We use the base form of the verb. We don't apply any rule. We Okay, any rule apart from the, the model verbs, we don't use anything else. We use the model verb and then we use the verb in base form. Okay, everybody? Now, uh, well, we finished with grammar. So in this moment, guys, we have some minutes to practice the following thing. Okay, everybody, in this opportunity, we are going to practice one of these activities. We have necessity or obligation and we have suggestions. In this opportunity, guys, we are going to practice necessity and obligation. So everybody, let's try to practice a little bit the use of have to, must, not have to. And well, guys, in this opportunity, we will practice have got to, okay? Have got to, guys, at the end is the same as have to. What is the only difference, guys? The main difference is that, uh, well, first of all, that we use got, have got, and the other difference, guys, is that, is that have got is more informal, okay? So pay attention to the right answers. Please, guys, pay attention to the answers, if they are correct or not. Please, Omar, tell me, what do you think is example number one? In order to log on the, uh, sorry, in order to log on to the internet, Sally, her user ID. So tell me, what do you think is the right answer? In order to log in to the internet or to log on to the internet, Sally has got to entering, Sally must enter or Sally have to enter. Okay, teacher. In order, in order to log on to the internet, Sally have Sally have to enter her user ID. Sally have to enter. Yes, option C. Okay, let's check together. Oh, sorry, the subject and verb do not agree. Hmm. Okay, that is not correct, Omar. Because we are talking about Sally, about she. So remember, how? In how yes, we apply yes, the rules. Yes. Okay. So tell me. Yes, teacher. It's it's to... a it's a letter A. Okay. Read the answers. In order okay, to go order... to the internet, Sally. Yes. In order to log. In order to log on to the internet, Sally has got to enter in her user ID. Okay, let's check together. <gasps> no. Can you read the comment, Omar? Yes. No, after model verbs, we never use ing. Yes. Ah, okay, very good. teacher. Okay. This is a little bit tricky. Okay, this is tricky. So you have to pay attention, okay, to the answers because some of them may look as if they are correct, but well, as you see, they are not. Tell me, Omar, what's the correct sentence? Yes, teacher, of course, letter B. I, in order to log on to the internet, Sally must enter her use ID. Very good, okay, great. Well done. Tell me now, Juan Pablo, what is the right answer in number two? Okay, if I have a pet, a pet dog, you, Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, please. Okay. Feed feed it every day or it will die. Okay. <laughs> so it's uh, mandatory, guys. No option. <laughs> Uh, how good. Okay, I will choose uh, option A. Have got to. Okay. okay, if you have a pet, you have a pet dog, you have got to feed it every day or it will die. 
Yes, okay, so very good. This is the same as you must fit it, okay? Well, we, we don't have mass in the answer. So very good job. Thank you, Juan Pablo. It was really good. Let's continue with Omar. So Omar, tell me what about Richard? What is the sentence? Okay, teacher. If Richard wants to become a professional musician, he... He has to practice every day. So what is the right answer? If Richard wants to become a professional musician, he has to practice every day. Letter A, B, or C? Yes, sorry. Letter A, teacher. Letter A, okay. Very good. So you did it. Nice, Omar. You're doing an amazing job. Yes. Well done. Thank you. Glad for you. Juan Pablo, tell me example four, according to. Hello, Juan Pablo. Sorry, <laughs> my microphone was silent, okay. silent mode. Okay, according to the law, Drivers must stop at stop sign. At stop, stop signs or signs? Signs. Signs, yes, yeah, signs. Uh, okay. Okay, choose B. Okay, nice. Well done, you are right. So, very good, Juan Pablo. You are doing an amazing job. Let's move on to example five and six. Let's see, we have eight examples. So, let's check this one, guys. Okay, number five, Mr. Wu and Mark. Tell me, please, Omar. Well, I will read the question of Mr. Wu. You tell me the answer. You have to tell me the answer of Mark. Uh, Mr. Okay, Wu. teacher. Hi, Mark. Where is your dad? Okay, Mark. Oh, he... Let me see, teacher. Okay. Yes, it's Mark. Oh, he had to go to work because there was an emergency. Great. Letter A? Yes. Okay. Yes, well done. Omar, I have a question. How did you identify that it was a letter A and not letter B, for example? Mm, I think so for me it, it is letter A mm, just because <laughs> no just kidding <laughs> so I think teacher mm, he had to go had the letter the letter C I think is um uh, maybe a uh, in a uh, order and letter b well in this case it's letter c you can eliminate it because must that is not correct okay must okay. never change because it's a model verb so well I, I was asking because had to go and had got to go both looks like uh they are correct right because both mean the same had and had got, they have the same meaning. But remember that had got is more, is more informal, okay? So in this case, you see that Mr. Wu is talking to Mark or Mark is talking to Mr. Wu. So you have to show because the first one is Mr. So it's, it's um, an older man. So you, you, should, you should show respect, okay? Yes. And Mark did it. Well done. Okay, guys, we are going to finish in example six because of the time, it's almost time to go. 
So I don't want to take more time than the one that we have. Juan Pablo, tell me, what is example six? The friend and the brother, it has two answers. Okay. I will choose B because um, I, I will read. Does your sister have to pay to see the doctor? You know, she doesn't because she has medical insurance. Okay, let's see. So, uh, give me a second, what happened? Okay, very good. So tell me, letter A, B, or C? B. Of course, letter B. Okay, let's check. Good, your subjects and verbs all agree here. So perfect job, guys. I really congratulate you guys because you did an amazing job in all the examples. Maybe in some sentences we were kind of confused, but at the end, we did it great. Please guys, continue working and practicing for tomorrow. Remember guys, we need to work on that platform. Since we are, since we are starting unit four, we have to start with this activity, okay? Everybody, please start working on unit, on unit 4.0. Well, this is the, the start of the unit. This is the start of the unit and we have to finish for tomorrow until 4.2.3 in conversation two. So everybody, please continue practicing, continue doing your best and I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you for being here, Omar. Uh, Juan Pablo, I really appreciate that you were here. Take care and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Good job. Thank you. Have You're a welcome. good night. Good night for you.